So we also tried to learn how to use processing. It's pretty bare bones, but um, so essentially we have a little widget and a punch. So the set size right now is set to eight. Originally we wanted to be able to like remotely control it, but so that's like one count. And I'll do two, three, four, five. So six, you can see that is seven. We've set eight set size to eight. So it'll stop when it's eight and then it'll recount. We also have this thing that we label tempo because it's related to our game, but it actually correlates with like how fast you're punching. So yeah. if we smooth this out, this is actually telling you how fast you're punching for each one. Yeah. yeah. And, and then, then we there's the average. The average set speed is pretty much the eight different punches that you have divided by the total amount of time to do those eight punches. So like I can do like my next set and be like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we'll be on like set two or set three. So that's pretty basic right now. Um, but there's like a lot of different features that we can add with like the gyro if we have more time. And if you have two hands and they could communicate. Um, maybe we can show the game. Yeah. Okay, so we have to actually upload it. So some other this is it's smoke on the water, the song that you're supposed to play. Mm -hmm. So it plays the song for you first. And now I'll say like your turn. And that's so just the first part, which is like bum bum bum. So I'll be like Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> it's good. Got it. Yeah. So okay. yeah, it said good job, and then now it's the second part, so you punch that beat. But it's like hard to hear. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, you got it. And then it goes on to the next part, and then basically you cycle through the Yeah, I think the part where it breaks, but... Yeah. <laughs> So ideally, if it, we could like actually play the music on something better than a buzzer, I think it would be a lot more <laughs> <laughs> um, Yeah, but it was definitely like a really nice project to learn how to use a bunch of different sensors. We also had a heart rate monitor, which was able to get uh, beats per minute, but it was pretty inaccurate, but it was nice to learn how to set it up. Um, we had an RFID sensor. Oh, yeah, the LEDs. And we had LEDs that punched, um, like depending on how hard you punched, a certain amount of them punched. Uh, like kind of like we just like took them out, and it was like a really free, fluid project in terms of like a beginner learning project. Um, but yeah, I think this is like a good example of like a wearable and how you can embed a bunch of different sensors to get different features. <laughs>